Hello everybody and welcome to Bluebell Wood and in just a couple of weeks the bluebells will be blooming and it'll be really beautiful and right now we're surrounded by the green of the leaves and I'm feeling a great sense of gratitude to be here in spring to the sun shining and to be surrounded by the happy plants so I guess that's my theme for you happy plants this time this is literally only 10 minutes walk away from where most of the retreats take place so this is somewhere that we get to come quite frequently and what is so beautiful about it is it's a shelter spot and it's so near to the mainstream civilization town and all the rest of it and yet it's so tucked away it's a kind of place that you could easily not even know exists and i guess that's my theme being in the now being appreciating exactly what is going on for you right now and making use of your innate abilities to choreograph your existence so that you find yourself in places where you feel good. So what's coming up for me is sensitivity and awareness, especially to your immediate environment. And it's funny, I feel like I need to say this. So today Dan and I set off on a journey in the car to look for the ideal place to do filming. And we stopped here and we stopped there and nothing was right. And then we ended up coming back to a place which is very close to where we started our physical journey, only about a mile, a mile and a quarter away from where Dan lives and where I live. And I think it's quite funny that we did this whole trip all the way around and when we end up almost back to where we started from, we've got a perfectly ideal spot. And so, so this is it then. So something that I learned a very long time ago as someone who's trained to be a shaman, one of the things you want to do is to become very tuned into the awareness of your environment and to go on the walk into wild nature with that understanding that wherever you go for a walk when you're in wild nature, there's always going to be a place that's going to draw you and you're going to feel, hmm, this feels like a really good place to be, just to sit here, just to enjoy. And that's called finding a spot. And it was Carlos Castaneda in his books years ago when he wrote about his teacher, Don Juan Matus. He described this as one of the first descriptions in the book as a valuable thing to do. And when you're a shaman in training, something that's so useful to do is to go on lots of long walks into wild nature. It gives you a chance to let all the mental clutter just disperse, dis dissipate, and tune into the now, which is what so much of what real life being a creative person is all about. So when you find your spot, this is what you'll notice. You'll notice the sensation in your heart. And it might be a warmth or it might be a sense of relaxation or a sense of opening. And that's definitely how I feel about this particular tree. Very strong sense of welcoming from it. And this area, I guess what I like is I like spaces which have got a degree of enclosed about them. And this is like a little mini amphitheater. So this definitely feels a good spot for me. And this comes into a bigger picture. Supposing you get together a group of people and you, you obtain your land through some means or other. And then it's a question, OK, well, where am I going to live on this land? And so I take a leaf out of permaculture. And permaculture have got some wonderful principles. And one of them I love is if you acquire some land, give yourself 12 months before making a final choice about where you're going to live and dwell on that land and build your own home and this is where the temporary structures are so useful if you get yourself a yurt make yourself a bender a geodesic dome or even a caravan something that you can move around something that's temporary then it means to say that when you got your lands and you think well maybe it's good here and you can put it up in that particular spot and with time you can start to realise implications about, well, if I locate myself here, this is useful for this, but that's a problem for that. And then you can move somewhere else. And I pick up a sense of this, if you've ever watched animals, 
dogs are really good at this. You'll notice this with dogs, that they tend to sniff around and look around here and there. And when they find they find their spot, they do this little movement. They actually move like a vortex or a spiral. They move around and finally sit themselves down. And I notice that with myself, more and more frequently, quite unconscious, I seem to adopt this way of doing things just to kind of zero on my spot and just turn around until I finally plant myself down. Feels good. So tuning into spots that feel good for you, very, very helpful. And then by the same reckoning, you can also, with your sensitivity, become aware of spots which are not so good for you. And if you come across a spot that's not so good for you, it's going to be really obvious things like you're going to feel more anxiety, there may be a sense of darkness in the energy, just a sense of uncomfortableness, a feeling of, mm, I can't really settle here. And then, of course, because you're in tune, then you just leave that place and move on somewhere else. So I've got such gratitude for this spot. I love, for example, the trees. Some of the trees here are such fantastic convoluted shapes, and Dan has particularly filmed one of them. And then directly behind the camera, straight in front of me, there are two trees which are just so straight. There's no deviation at all in the way they're growing. And I love the diversity of nature. It's a great gift. So that is my theme. It's finding places where you feel good, where you feel alive, where you feel comfortable, where you feel inspired. It's so easy to allow ourselves to get ground down by the daily realities of life and the things you need to do to, in order to keep yourself existing, such as paying the rent, taxes, food, energy bills, all the rest, but it's so easy to get sucked into all that. And yet, the question I'm asking myself, and I'm asking you, is why are we here? What are we really here for? So, the answer that keeps coming up to me Whenever I tune in to now, it's all about appreciating exactly the moment that you're in right here, right now. And if you find yourself in a situation where you're experiencing a lot of pain, as people do, then what I invite you to consider is the possibility that I'm going to give you now. Whenever you're experiencing a lot of pain, that indicates to you, that's like a, a meter or a measuring device, it's like the universe's measuring device saying to you, there's something about the here and now that you're resisting. And this is where the experience of the plant medicine can be so helpful for people. Because what tends to happen is people feel there's a call that they want to do this thing. They want to expand their horizons and see beyond the mundane. And this is a pull that's becoming stronger and stronger in people the world over. And so the happy plants have decided to communicate their message to human beings. And it's about bringing us into the now. And it's about causing us to be aware of what we become unaware of. It might seem like a strange thing to say. But it's possible for a person to be so caught up in their thoughts. They're not even tuned in with how their body is feeling. And then you can have a situation when they start to tune in and the first thing that can arise is they get a conscious awareness of pain that they've been suppressing for a long, long time. This could be emotional pain about circumstances from the past. It could be all sorts of things. So what the gift of the plants gives us is the ability to tune into what's going on for us right here and right now. And we don't even need to go on the retreat to do this, all you need to do is to go outside into nature and automatically the connection between the now becomes so much more obvious. So I'm totally loving being where I'm being, it's so great to be here. And as I look around at the plants I can see that they're growing, that they've got life in them and this colour green is so important to us. So green links us into the heart and the heart links us into the centre of your being. It's so easy for you to consider yourself to be a being that is inhabiting some consciousness behind these two eyes, somewhere in this bit up here. This is where it's so easy for us to, to literally think where we are. And this is the marvellous human journey because we get caught up through the process of indoctrination, through culture particularly, we get caught up in indoctrination through culture that this is where we're based as with this tiny space between these two eyes and this is where we look out and this is actually all there is and that's the illusion 
And when we step particularly into nature and into the awareness of the plants, then there's this marvellous process takes place where the awareness shifts from the head to the heart. And this is your true centre of the being. This is your true centre of your being, the heart. So one of the interesting things is a lot of nerves which connect the heart to the head and the head to the heart, but the vast majority of them are organised in such a way that the heart is actually the one that calls the shots. So here's another lovely simple little exercise you can do. Just get your hands and be aware of them. If you want, you can look at them. The second I put my awareness into my hands, the same thing happens every single time. They're tingling. I can feel the radiance in my hands. I can feel the energy of my energy body radiating out through my hands. The next thing I do is I take the awareness into the feet, even though they're encased in footwear. I can still feel the feet. I can feel the tingling and the radiance in my feet. And then I can simply allow that radiance, that tingling to connect all the way through my arms, through my chest, through my head, down to my torso, up my legs, and to reach that centre point in my heart. And now I can feel a sensation in my heart. And if you're in a situation in life where you've got a choice to make, it's a great reminder, just realise you can always connect in that exact same way. Start with the extremities, move into your centre. This is your centre, that is not your centre. Look at your body, there's no way that is your centre, this is your centre. By tuning into your centre, you can then ask some really simple questions. Okay, so how is my heart feeling now? My heart's feeling open, it's feeling relaxed, it's feeling inspired and it's feeling creative because I'm surrounded by this, this beautiful nature. It automatically calms me if I'm in a state of agitation or anxiety. So one of the best practices we can have, anyone who's interested in shamanic practice, anyone who's interested in being more in tune with themselves, take the time to be out in nature. And even when the weather's lousy and you don't feel like being out for long, if you take just as long as a walk as it takes you to find a tree, stand under that tree, even if it's only for 60 seconds, and then walk back home, you've still made a connection. That's really helpful. So, with the connection of the heart, that's where inspiration, where creativity, where new ideas come in. Nature's a natural ally in all this, and so are the plants. And as we know, there are some plants which are particularly helpful for us, and they have this mission, and their mission is to help us wake up. So part of our awakening process is simply to tune into nature, simply be aware of the now, be intensely present in your body, enormously useful thing to do. If you're fortunate enough to have a bath in your house as well as a shower, then the bath gives you another opportunity because if you put a dose of Epsom salts in that bath, about 300 grams is plenty. Get into hot bath with Epsom salts. This is another way you can easily tune into yourself and be more present in the now, which is your point of power because the power is in the now. Will you be true?